And then I got really sick. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I was hawking up a bunch of stuff. I felt terrible. My face hurt. I checked for COVID. It wasn't that. Got an online doctor's appointment. She gave me some uh, a Z pack. And I rested up for like five days. Yes, I'm finally back on trail. I'm at Red's Meadow. And it's closed, but. That's a hot spring right over there, son. And I'm gonna go get on it. Oh, feels so much better. Mm. I think I'm just gonna camp here. It's only five o'clock. I probably have four hours of daylight left. But honestly, I've been sick for the last four days and I'm on antibiotics and I should be cool, man. Everybody says, listen to your body, listen to your body. So I'm gonna listen to this thing. And she says, that we're gonna camp right here, son. There's a bear box, there's a fire ring, and there's a hot spring. I already checked it out, it was crystal clear. Beautiful. I'm gonna get in that thing. I love a good campfire, but we rarely make them out here as through hikers. Tonight was different. I had one, ate my dinner, and then I went to the hot spring. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Woo. Now I'm going to snug it up in my belly and go back to camp. I think I'm just going to tuck myself in. I already had a fire today, which was lovely. And uh, yeah, I am super tired. So I'm going to bed. That's a welcome back to the woods sunset. Good morning. <laughs> um, it is 7 o'clock in the morning. This is probably the latest I've ever slept on trail. Nah, that's not true. It might be true. I did wake up at 5. I just had to pee real quick. <laughs> and then I climbed back in here and went back to sleep. I am still really tired, so... I don't know. I was looking at the map this morning. I had originally planned to do, um, like, 25s. And get to uh, Kennedy Meadows North in four days. Which I'm sure I can. But I'm not sure if I should. So I also saw that um, there's Tuolumne Meadows. And that's only 40 miles away. And I could go in there and then hitch to a store and get more food and snacks if I want to. So I'm going to get up. I might go get in the hot spring one more time just for a little warm morning dip. Advantage of sleeping in, besides getting rest, was that all the other hikers were gone. I took full advantage of the hot tub. I mean hot spring. <laughs> Blue blazing. Whatever, it sounded cool. Top of post pile. Lord. I'm only doing this because I can see from right here how cool they look. <sighs> I'm sure you're all dying to know. So, that is rad. These are hexagonal columns of basalt. And they think they were formed less than 100,000 years ago um, from lava cooling in a process called jointing. Man, there are a lot of mosquitoes. Anyway, a process called jointing. And then these glaciers like psh, rode through here, I guess real slow, and uh, uncovered it and kind of polished them up, it says. That is rad. Nature's cool, man. Cool stuff happens. Holy mackerel, there's a ton of mosquitoes, but... the snowy mountains. I'm glad I'm not in the snowy mountains though. <laughs> it's 
it's pretty warm. You gotta say, it's been pretty nice leaving Mammoth. Ow. Except for all these mosquitoes. Wow. This is super pretty. <laughs> I wonder if there are fish in there. But they're frogs. A lot of mosquitoes. Snow is all melting. I've been listening to where the crawdads sang. And I mean it's a really good book. Super moving. And I kind of need a distraction today. So I'm not feeling 100. But I'm trying to work myself back up. Anyway. They keep talking about all this good southern food, and I'm like, oh my god. I want some fried chicken, collard greens, mashed potatoes, warm biscuit, oh my god, sweet tea. I'm hungry. I already ate my dinner today, too. I had it for lunch. But, uh, whoa. Oh my gosh. Prettier. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> Man. I'm almost glad I don't feel great. So I can go really slow. <laughs> I'm not going really slow, but I'm not going very fast. That was Island Pass. I just came down out of so beautiful. Wish I had my paddleboard. I don't think I'm supposed to be. Where am I supposed to be? I'm very tempted to camp here, but I think I want to do one more mile. Maybe the next spot will be even more beautiful. You never know. Gem Lake. Nope, I don't have to go that way. I'm going to Donahue Pass. did 20 miles today, so my first full day back on trail. I feel pretty good. Took a allergy medicine and I took my antibiotic. Talked to my doctor about it first. Um, yeah, I didn't leave camp till 10 o'clock, but I didn't get here till almost eight o'clock. <laughs> it's really pretty though. And I'm gonna go put my feet in the river soon. I'm super excited. Right after I have my dinosaur and brown sugar oatmeal. Just trying to do something relaxing. But look at all the frickin' mosquitoes. Alright. I gotta go zip it.